so URL TV got early room the fans and everybody in the uproar yesterday when news broke that Queen, that Kings versus Queens four is now twenty five dollars for the pay per view. Yep, you heard me right. News broke yesterday. Kings versus Queens four is now twenty five dollars for the pay per view. Now, URL TV, you do get some perks to spend that twenty five dollars for that uh, pay per view. It has on demand VOD until March the twenty sixth, and you get one month free of the URL app subscription. So, there are some perks to spending that $25. Now, I believe it, the um, Kings vs. Queens 4, I think it was originally free. And that's what the fans were happy about. Then turn around now, that is $25 for the pay-per-view. Now, fans had a lot to say about this yesterday. And still today on social media. But if you break it down, it's five battles. Five battles. That's what? what five dollars a battle. Two fifty a uh, battler. You know, this is probably the cheapest pay per view I've bought recently. Probably the the cheapest. And I bought I've bought the Divide and Conquer for RBE that was fifty bucks. I bought um what else did I buy? I just just yesterday I paid the pre sale price for the ownership card that's going down, which has Daylight versus King Boo as the main event that goes down. March the March the twenty fifth. I'm paying my money for that. Then what? April you have John John's pandemic card which has ten battles on it and that's forty forty five dollars for that. I'm gonna end up paying for that. Then May you had Divide and Conquer two, which is fifty bucks. So whereas fans were complaining about twenty five bucks, we've been paying. 50 and up for everybody else's pay-per-views. So, it's like, can we really complain about spending 25 bucks? Probably one of the cheapest pay-per-views you're going to get. And from what I was seeing on social media, that this is going to be for certain events from now on for URL. So we just got to see how this works. But $25 for a pay-per-view. And if I'm able to see some of these other app-only events along with this, I'm not complaining. But I think it would be better if you already pay your $8 a month for your URL subscription that you should be able to get the pay-per-view streams for free because you're already paying that $8 a month. But, hey, your URL do what you got to do. Now, ARP, as far as RBE, has had a lot to say when URL dropped it as far as paying $25 for this Kings vs. Queens card. Because I believe URL said that they weren't um, uh, making it that people had to pay for pay-per-views. So, it's like you did something just to turn around and do it. But, hey, we just going to wait and see how this works out. Everybody's up in arms, and we really don't know the full details to to what Caffeine and URL is doing with these pay-per-views. So, it's a wait-and-see prog- process right now. But, also, what I noticed, if you've been streaming on your Caffeine, you get the yellow gold, you get the golds on uh, Caffeine, and you get the purple props that uh, people can send you. You can turn your purple props and purple uh, coins in for gold. You can turn your purple ones in for gold. 
and you can unlock kings versus queens instead of having to pay $25. If you have enough of the little purple ones, you can uh, trade it in for gold and unlock kings versus queens instead of having to come out your pocket to $25. You, you can exchange it that way, and you will unlock kings versus queens. I think you only need 250 gold to unlock it. So if you stream, look at that feature on your on your account. Thank me later once you figure out how that works. And Kings Rush Queens is basically going to be free to you with that feature.